What does it take to have a good family? What does it take to all be sitting around the dinner table, enjoying each other, uh, interfacing with, with each other, and feeling, ah, this is something special. Well, I very often go to the Bible and, and try to find the good qualities in families. And when you go to Psalms 128, you do find that here is this family uh, that are following the Lord, sitting around the dinner table. Um, and it says, may the Lord continually bless you. But you know, you can't get to that positive family and that you find in, in Psalms 100, 128, unless you go back to Psalms 127, where it says, unless the Lord builds the house, the work of the builders is useless. Talking about the house, talking about the family, we need to have God as the basis. And then it says in verse 3 of Psalms 127, children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. I want to talk to you about uh, a, a book that I've just finished called The First Seven Years. Uh, I believe the first seven years of a child's life is the most important time. Uh, so much happens. His character is pretty much intact by the first seven years. Um, his intelligence, uh, what he's really going to be as a person, all happens very, very early. In fact, we know the first minute after birth, the child is learning more than, than he will any other time in his life. It's kind of a downhill slide from then. But uh, because the brain is developing the fastest, that's when we get the most learning. Well, I have had a dream, as, as you probably know, my doctorate is in early childhood education. All of my classwork has been in the area of child development and, and family. And I have always wanted to put together a book that puts all of this child development information into easy breezy form for parents to read and pretty much know how to, to go about having this happy family that we all want to have. So the book, The First Seven Years, is kind of like, well, I guess you'd say it's my opus. This is what I'm giving to the world. And, and I'm really excited that it's finally coming out with, with Pacific Press and with our new imprint called 3ABN Books, which is very exciting that, that we're doing this. I just want to share with you how this got started. You know, very often we can, when we see things that we don't like, we can become very negative. And, and I started the book in this vein. I was going to warn other people about this parenting method that Christians were suggesting that was harsh, that was punitive, that was forcing children to go the way that you wanted them to go because you had a schedule and you wanted them to, to grow up being what you wanted them to do. And you know, as I began writing, the Lord would not allow me to be negative. Instead, out came uh, a positive approach to parenting. Uh, where we teach children through our behavior what grace is all about. You cannot be punitive and harsh and, and um, uh, tough with kids continually and have them understand how much God loves them and how much God is willing to forgive them. And, and so I began to write. Um, I wrote about, first of all, how... Um, Children are a gift from God, as it says here in Psalms 127. If we view children as something that we are responsible for, that, that we are in charge of, then any time they do something wrong, we'll say, oh, it's my fault. I've got to, you know, and we come down hard on these kids. But if we look at these children as a gift from God, we will parent them as we would think God would want to parent them. Um, I, I talk about we want to have strong values because we have the Bible as our guide and we want to teach our children the Bible. But we must also have a gentle touch. The touch of Jesus Christ was a gentle touch. And in much of his healing, he is touching people. That hands-on approach, but it's never a harsh punitive touch, and that's what we want to give our children. I go through the importance of discipline, the importance of love, the importance of their brain development and intelligence, uh, the importance of emotions, uh, uh, how to have a healthy sense of, of self-confidence because they know exactly who they belong to. They are gods. Yes, children are a gift from the Lord. They're not ours. They're ours for a few years, 
but only to raise for the Lord.